first, I, I, I think it, I, I thought it was moving that the president was uh, emotional and moved to tears. Uh, nothing's wrong with that. I think people in public life ought to, ought to express their hopes and their fears and their dreams and be emotional about it. There's nothing wrong with that, and I admire that. But what he proposed does nothing for the families of Sandy Hook, does nothing for the tragedy that took place in Charleston. Taking executive power he doesn't have, and I think once again the courts will um, validate that point, and imposing a set of things that look to, be, to me to be politically motivated isn't going to solve this problem. Look, when I was governor, we had, uh, we had a chance to uh, change the law to make sure that people that had restraining orders, domestic violence, violence offenders had restraining orders, couldn't um, access guns. That's a, that's a good approach. But you know what I did? I went to the legislature, and I got it passed, and I signed it into law, and we built consensus around it, and we made it an important part of a strategy to reduce domestic violence, which we did by 24%. Governors and people that lead actually create strategies around challenges, view them as opportunities, and fix them. This guy doesn't have those leadership skills, and so he, he defaults to what he thinks is best, which is use power he doesn't have to try to solve a problem, uh, and it won't. There's nothing that, so what would I do? I would first be honest with people. I wouldn't elevate their hopes that somehow this is going to change, change anything. And if there was a serious opportunity for the federal government to play a role in, in guns, and I, I think it's very minimal what they should be doing, then, then I would be, uh, I'd go to the Congress to do it. My, my personal belief, though, is that the Second Amendment issues, um, Second Amendment is as important as any other element of the Bill of Rights, and the role of government is best played out at the, at the state level as it relates to gun rights. New Hampshire is dramatically different than Chicago in terms of people's comfort levels with guns, the use of guns uh, related to violence. Um, the fact that President Obama was moved to tears about the extraordinary gun violence in Chicago uh, is important and helpful and hopeful. Hopefully, hopefully he'll have a more comprehensive strategy. Why not take on the teachers union in Chicago, the most failed education school district probably in the country? Challenge them and say, why is it that the kids have no hope because they can't read and write by the time that they're uh, you know, in 12th grade? Why not take on the, the, level, the lack of level of security in low-income communities in his hometown? I'm going to challenge the mayor, his former chief of staff, to get on with it and start acting like a leader instead of excusing way why, that, why this violence takes place. That is the better approach to dealing with a problem that is truly tragic. But I don't think that would bring comfort. It would bring comfort if you lessen the amount of violence. Look, crime rates, Chicago has big time gun control. Big time. I mean, they would look at New Hampshire and consider you all a bunch of Neanderthals or look at Florida and say the same thing. They have very restrictive gun rights. And they have gun violence that is going through the ceiling. And it's his hometown. And I think the emotion ought to be expended to try to solve the problem. That's what I think.